Hi, this is John from Artistry in Glass, talking about stained glass in the Frank Lloyd Wright style. Now, Frank Lloyd Wright was widely considered to be America's greatest architect, and he designed more than a thousand buildings over a creative career of over 70 years. Starting his apprenticeship with the prominent Chicago architect Louis Sullivan, Frank Lloyd Wright quickly established himself by developing the Prairie School of Residential Architecture during the period 1900 to 1920. Now the purpose of this website is to illustrate to you how you can incorporate designs of the Frank Lloyd Wright style into your own residential interior design. Now if you like this video, please press the buttons below to subscribe to our channel. Now Frank Lloyd Wright's influence on stained glass can hardly be exaggerated. Earlier windows by classic US designers like uh, Tiffany and Lafarge were exclusively figurative. Expressionist landscapes and romantic neo-Gothic representations of saints and mythical figures. Design by Frank Lloyd Wright was instantly transformed into rectilinear patterns, largely using his T-square, where crucially the lead lines or lead came, rather than being an inconvenience, became the essence of the design. Frank Lloyd Wright expressed this concept himself in a famous 1928 quote as follows. Nothing is more annoying to me than any tendency of realism of form in window glass to get mixed up with the view outside. Many aficionados are so attached to the timeless beauty of Frank Lloyd Wright's designs that they wish merely to recreate the magic of them for their own homes. Other, more individualistic customers prefer to create their own unique panels using the, using the design principles established by the master. In this short video, we will give you detailed advice on how to adopt the principles of Frank Lloyd Wright's leaded glass designs to your own residential window requirements. To get started, try to figure out the answers to the following important questions. One. What is the function of the window? Is it privacy, view control, or merely self-indulgence? Two, what is the shape of the window? Do you have a narrow side light, a door panel, or another shaped window? Three, what is your preferred style? Do you like rectangles or angular forms, or do you prefer curved lines or circles? Four, what are your preferred colors or textures? And finally, do you have a favorite symbolic image, an icon, a rose, or family crest? The primary practical function of stained glass is to provide privacy, to let light into your residence without allowing a snooper or peeping tong to see inside. The second functional reason is called view control. This is the reverse of privacy. Instead of preventing snoopers from peeking in, your objective is to obscure what you can see when looking out. The idea is to use art glass to disguise or completely hide a less than perfect view while still permitting light to enter the house. The next question, and a very important one, is what is the shape of your window? Do you have tall skinny panels like these that can be used for front door side lights? Or do you have a wide panel in a door or even entryway doors with a transom over the top? Frank Lloyd Wright designs can be repeated to make very attractive elongated panels suitable for clerestory windows. And they can also be simplified to make very stylish small panels for cabinet doors. To begin your choice of window, first of all, try to decide what is your preferred style. Do you like curved lines or do you like straight lines? Curved lines are more playful and adventurous. Straight lines give a sense of stability and safety. Secondly, are you drawn to symmetrical or asymmetrical designs? Take a look at these examples and see how the asymmetrical sumac plant 
imparts a certain tension to the whole design, whereas the Tree of Life is more peaceful and stable. Just look at these with an open mind and see which direction you're drawn in. Now, after you've chosen your design, now comes the really exciting opportunity that you have to choose colors for your window. Now here I have to confess a strong preference for the colors of nature, pale amber, straw yellow, dull greens, favored by Frank Lloyd Wright. He specifically cautioned against using gaudy colors, what he called the colors of the ribbon counter. Notice that it's not just the choice of colors that's important, but their position is also vital. The principle here is that the brightest colors should be used sparingly and should be restricted to key visual elements. In these designs, for example, they should be in the triangles. Bright colors should never be part of the background which traditionally in Frank Lloyd Wright windows is clear glass. The final design question is, do you have a favorite image or symbol that you would like to include to personalize your panel? Here we show three floral images introduced to add interest. On the left, a symbolic flower in the arts and crafts style followed by, in the center, a realistic rose, which can be made in your choice of color. And finally, on the right, the characteristic rose of the great Scottish and Glaswegian architect, Charles Rene Mackintosh. So, if you share our admiration for the great Frank Lloyd Wright, come into our Midtown studio and enjoy the collaborative design process, from original drawings, color renderings to manufacture and installation of your prairie style masterpiece. Artistry in glass, creative design, old world craftsmanship, expert installation since 1986.